airliners or a light show, but they're not just for looking pretty. The various lighting systems on a modern aircraft are essential for visibility, identification, communication, and above all, safety. In a flight simulator, keeping on top of all these lights can be tough. Luckily for you, in this video, part 2 of a two-part series covering everything you need to know about aircraft lighting, you'll learn the common exterior lights found on an airliner that help you, the pilot, see your aircraft and surroundings, and even what each one's purpose is and how they work. Lights on an airliner can generally be separated into two categories. The first is lights that make an aircraft more visible, which we looked at in part 1, which you can go check out after this video. The second category is lights which make areas pilots need to see visible, which we'll be looking at today. We'll cover four types of lights. Wing inspection lights, taxi lights, runway turnoff lights and landing lights. Let's start off with the wing inspection lights. These lights are mounted on the fuselage and are angled outward to illuminate the inboard portion of each wing, including the leading edge, wing root, and in some cases the engine nacelles. Unlike the lighting systems we already covered in part 1 and those still to come in this video, wing inspection lights are not so much to do with external visibility or seeing while operating the aircraft. They are strictly a diagnostic tool used to visually confirm that the wings are free from ice accumulation. In practice, you won't need them very often in the simulator unless your aircraft visually models wing ice, but when icing is possible, they are incredibly useful, allowing the crew to check for buildup that may not otherwise be visible. Wing inspection lights can also be turned on during nighttime walkarounds to improve ground visibility. However, on some aircraft, most notably the Airbus A321, their use must be limited when parked at the gate. Their high intensity can shine directly onto the jetway structure, and in real-world operations, this can create a fire hazard, so crews have to be cautious, and therefore, you can replicate this cautiousness in the simulator for that extra immersion. Some aircraft include additional inspection lights, such as wheel-well lights on the Boeing 737. These are primarily intended for pilot walkarounds and engineering crews to inspect landing gear and the wheel well as many crucial systems can be found in them. However, they aren't especially relevant for day-to-day -day flight simulation use unless you're going for that extra bit of realism, which of course is what we strive for here on Flight Deck Focus. By the way, if you're new or returning, welcome to Flight Deck Focus, an aviation channel where I, a student glider pilot and prospective commercial pilot, share my passion for aviation and break down complex aviation topics for the everyday out geek. Sit back, relax, hit the subscribe button and let's get on with the video. Taxi lights are exactly what they sound like. They're the light used for taxiing to illuminate the taxiways to ensure that you can always see the taxiways in any conditions. On most airliners, the taxi lights are either located in the wing route or are mounted on the nose gear strut. In many modern aircraft, the landing lights themselves may have a reduced power or dim mode that functions as a taxi light, allowing a single light housing to serve multiple purposes. This is the case on many modern Boeing 7-7s, where the taxi lights are built into the LED landing light assemblies in the wing routes. On the Airbus A320, the taxi light also has an additional position to just off and taxi, and that is the TO, takeoff position. This is a bright to light adjacent to the taxi light on the nose wheel strut used for takeoffs and landings. Taxi lights are generally always on irrespective of conditions, from just before taxi and are typically turned off or changed to the landing lights before takeoff. They're then used again prior to arrival. Something to note about taxi lights is that they are still quite intense for ground crews, so prior to entering a gate and until clear of the pushback time, they remain off to prevent any blinding of the ground crew. Runway turnoff lights are very similar to taxi lights, but they serve a more specific task than pure illumination of what is directly ahead. These lights are often mounted in the same spots as the taxi lights, either at the wing routes or on the nose wheel assembly. They are angled to illuminate areas off to each side of the aircraft as their function is to help with visibility during turns, particularly useful during tight apron maneuvering and when lining up or vacating a runway. They can be used in parallel to the taxi lights, but some SOPs only call for them at night, in low visibility, or for takeoff and landing. They also must be off around brown personnel for the same reason as with taxi lights, their high intensity. Landing lights are by far the most powerful exterior lights on an airliner, designed to provide intense forward and downwards illumination during takeoffs, approaches, and landings. In busy airspace, they also double as a clear visibility aid, making an aircraft incredibly obvious in complex situations. On airliners, the landing lights are often located on the wings, underneath the aircraft on the lower fuselage, or on the nose gear. While airline-specific SOPs may vary, they are generally always on when on the runway and up to 10,000 feet or up to the transition altitude if it is higher, normally at a pilot's but in this case, your discretion. 
On the descent, the idea is similar, with landing lights being used to a transition level or 10,000 feet, depending on your SOPs, up until vacating the runway. Even though we don't normally have SOPs published for our flight sim airplanes, feel free to research some airline SOPs or enjoy the freedom granted in a flight simulation environment and leave it up to your own discretion. On some aircraft, pulsing or alternating landing lights may be equipped. Similarly to strobe lights, these make aircraft incredibly obvious, especially in congested airspace. Their installment and operation is often airline dependent, so if your plane has them, feel free to give them a go. Regardless of specifics, landing lights are ultimately one of the most important lights an aircraft is equipped with, and they are key to being visible and being able to see out of the flight deck in any conditions. So there you have it folks, all of the major lighting systems you need to think about when flying your virtual airliners. In a future video, we'll break down each phase of flight and the various lights used in each phase to further enhance your aircraft lighting operation. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it, but until then, go check out part one of the lighting series, but this has been Flight Deck Focus, that was Aircraft Lighting, and I'll see you in the next one.